this expression of gender in my own way. People are a lot more open to the idea of it. However, as with everything, you're going to get someone who's not going to be happy with it. I think I don't want to tell you why. And honestly, I'm proud of all my daughters, but this one's the one who basically does what I do, but much fucking better. So make some noise for Eliza Monroe! came out when I was 12, been questioning it for since I was about 11, so since year seven to start secondary school. The school was a shitter, but it's always gonna be when you come out younger. The younger you come out, the harder it's gonna be because you've got less mature minds that you're around your peers. So I was getting ready to be a T-bird, um, there greasing back my hair, flapping around the top of the textiles room, <laughs> in amongst all the fabrics and the sewing machines, going, I'm figuring it out, I'm gay. And they were like, that's great, I've got makeup to do, can you go over there and just chill out? And I was like, oh, okay then, that's, that's that then. It was tough growing up, not only would you have kids, but you'd have parents who would say things at me in the street, which you think they'd know better, but clearly they didn't. Oh, bless my mum, she, um, she got really good the other day and brought her iPad out, she's like, nope. Watching, I'm watching Drag Race. And I was like, okay, mum, you're learning. I'm so proud of you. They were chill. They didn't really ask a lot of questions. It was, right, okay, my gay son's now a cross-dresser. Wonderful. I've not exactly been the most mask kid growing up. They asked me when I was younger, do you want to dress in women's clothing and all this sort of stuff. So they were like, it's, it's been a long time coming. It's gonna happen at some point. My first performance was interesting. I had to learn this song, which I didn't know. I'm conceptualise a look, get a wig sorted, get to the scene, and then learn to properly paint my face. Looking back, I shouldn't have done it. She wasn't good. She was present, barely, but it was, it, it got my foot in the door. So I'd always be thankful for the first time I did it because it's got me where I am now. But my God, was it a choice? Oh, it's awful. It's such a mess looking back. But yeah, it's it's great. Ella is the goth girl I wasn't at school. She's just a loser in a pretty dress. She's weird, she's gothy. She's not really here or there with like masculine or feminine. She does anything online. That's the really best way to describe her. Ella Demonio, the name, is really, really simple. It's literally the word she-demon translated from Spanish to English. That's it. <laughs> because that's the best way to describe it, it's a she-demon. Oh yeah, the greatest thing that I do, I link my glue stick. Because it makes it a little bit wetter and it makes everything smoother. It's non-toxic, so it's fine. Um, but it is vile. But it helps. I've tried recently doing like feminine brows and blending them in and people like them, but it wasn't Ella. I am not overly concerned with looking femme or feminine. I like there to be feminine aspects in clothes and mannerisms, but my actual body, like I wear my hairy chest out. It's an expression of gender in my own way. So when people are telling me to shave my chest or shave my legs or shave my arms to fit what they want me to do, it's my drag, I'll do as I please. If you don't like it, close your eyes. See if I care. So I'm not in like, what of this get up? I work in a call center, nine to five, taking calls. Like, it's nothing, nothing grand. I do that, I go home, I eat, I watch TV, I sleep. Occasionally there'll be things where I'll do something, if I've got a bit of cash, I'll try and do something fun, go to a different city and just do something with a mate, but it, there's not a lot. There's not a lot to it. This has become my social life. Mentally for me, I suffered at university. I wasn't diagnosed with anything, but there was anxiety, there was depression. There was nothing that I really wanted to do. I wouldn't go to work. I wouldn't see my friends. I wouldn't even talk to my housemates and I lived with them for Christ's sake. But with doing drag, I was able to leave James at home 
he could just stay there and wallow in his own self pity, whereas Ella could have fun, go out, uh, engage with people, actually be sociable. But when you've put a mask over it, as it were, you can go out and you can feel like you can do anything in drag. Drag has allowed me to flourish in a lot of other aspects and things that I didn't think I could do. So even the simple remixes, I didn't think I could do that, I can. I saw I'll do them for me, I'll do them for other queens. Making garments, I'll do them for me. Um, I'll customise garments for people, I've done it a couple of times. And then making the first dress for Pride this year. Um, it's allowed me to just, it's more confidence building for myself. Showing that you know what, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. So just go out and do it. Wow, what would I tell younger James? Um, <clears throat> things are going to be rough. And you're going to fall in some pretty dark places, but don't worry. You are going to come out of that life. You are going to be all right. And you know what? You're going to do some stuff that you thought was pretty fucking weird when you were younger. You're going to dress like a lady. And you're going to like it. And you can have fun with it. So just don't care what anyone else thinks. Throw that aside. And have a laugh. Just be calm.